Hey everybody, welcome back. Hope you had a good day yesterday. It was a good day for me. Um, work, got work today and tomorrow. So no New Year's celebrations for me, although I wasn't going to do anything anyway. So I'm not overly concerned. I'll take the extra double time pay. Why not? Um, so uh, yeah, let's just uh, get right into a day with what I wore. Jovan, I got two more after this. Um, and then I'll do a house overview type deal of the ones I have. Uh, Jovan Musk, Platinum Musk for men. I really like this. Uh, it's hard for me to describe. I'll try. Um, went with four sprays in my moisturizer. One, two, three, four. One, two, three on the chest. Shirt on. One, two, three on the shirt. One in each creek of the elbow. Um, I didn't know what to expect from this one. Never really wearing it. Uh. When I smelled it, I thought it was going to be a bit of a softer smell. That's why I went kind of heavy with it, and it was. I was could probably even put on a couple more sprays, to tell you the truth, if I wanted to. But it was just perfect the way it was, I guess, for you know, want to choke people out at work. Not that I think this would choke a lot of people out. You'd really have to apply it. Um, let's get into the smell, and then I'll get into the performance. What I got smell-wise, again, I really like this one. Hard for me to just to describe. Off the top, I get a hint, a small hint of spiciness. I'm thinking it's probably just pepper. Very slight. Uh, what I get mostly off the top of this one, guys, is this. Got a slight creamy vibe to it. Uh, so I'm guessing it's probably a sandalwood base in there. <laughs> slight creaminess uh, with... um. Slight sweetness, uh, not a vanilla sweetness or, or a sugar sweetness, more of an amber sweetness with uh, dominant at first, like a, a very dominant at first is uh, a sweet powdery lavender, another floral, I'm assuming carnation because Jovan likes to use carnation with uh, even a bit of mint and a bit of musk. That is white musk, a very clean linen like white musk is what this has in it for musk. Um, a very light scent, but not a weak scent, if that makes sense. Uh, you're not going to overpower anybody, uh, but it's not going to go away in an hour either. Um, so that's the smell, basically. A, a slightly spicy, very slightly spicy. I mean, you, it's only there for a couple minutes. So we won't even include it. Don't even say that. A slightly sweet, powdery, floral bouquet with a, sitting on a base of a creamy sandalwood and white musk. A very, again, a very clean white musk. Almost linen-like. Um, so that's the smell I get. Um, again, and that, that floral bouquet, slightly sweet floral bouquet and creaminess is pretty much from there from the start to the finish to the last hour or so and then it's basically just um, a light white musk scent um which brings me to performance um not the greatest but not the worst either um the type of scent it is it's a very fresh clean scent i keep saying the clean linen white musk that's what i get from it it's a very fresh <laughs> without being aquatic or citrusy it's a very fresh clean scent um, again, I get quite honestly about five hours going into the sixth hour. Um, but the last two hours of that, it's pretty much that white musk skin scent. So I would reapply after about three and a half, four hours. If you wanted to keep the, the other smells, uh, the sweet florals and whatnot. Um, I'd say this one is unisex for the most part. Um, right in that line, I find it's hard sometimes from something unisex, it either leans more masculine or feminine. This one seems to be right in that line where I think both a man and a woman could wear it. Uh, anybody could wear it. Um, projection, uh, not too bad for about an hour, uh, about 40 minutes, it's an arm's length out there. And then it kind of slowly starts coming in, takes about another half hour till it comes in. It gives you a bit of a, bit of a scent bubble for a couple hours. And then, like I said, it's a skin scent. Um, 
So, yeah, compliment. I got one compliment as soon as I walked in. It was towards the end of it projecting, like I said. So, and uh, the girl said, what are you wearing today? When you smell nice. So, and then I asked everybody to smell it. And everybody liked it. Nobody, no, no anything really. Just, oh, it's nice, nice. So, nothing fancy. So, is it a compliment, beast, getter? I don't think so. Um, simply because of the performance. They'd have to be pretty much right up on you after a half hour to smell you. So... But when they do smell it, they do like it. So, um, yeah, that was it. That was a day with. <clears throat> Platinum Musk. Uh, it doesn't smell dated. It doesn't smell old school. It smells, okay, with that, that, that kind of sweet powdery lavender and a bit of mint and a bit of creaminess. It kind of gives you that late 90s, early 2000s vibe that a lot of clones were. I think, uh. Okay, when I say this, it's not doesn't smell like this. It just has certain slight aspects of it, so it's not a clone or smell like it. But uh, a Lamal, the original Lamal, that kind of vibe with the, the powderiness and the lavender and the mint and the sweetness. Um, again, not a clone. Wouldn't even call it inspired by its its own scent, but those type of scents that were released in the late '90s, early 2000s, uh, still fair. Still wear it today. Um, might want to go a little heavy with it, though. Uh, I went with a lot of sprays. I'd probably, if I was going out, I'd probably even double up on that amount of sprays. Uh, just to get a little more projection, a little more performance out of it. Um, but, I mean, the smell. It's just, I love the smell. I really do. I love that smell. It's, to me... Smell wise, probably the best one so far, and I've liked all the other ones, so yeah. All right, guys, peace, love, be good to each other.